A special day for three Hoosier heroes. Yeah, the veterans got to reconnect with a piece of their military history today, 2,000 feet above Indianapolis. They took a flight in a B-17 bomber. Fox 59's Randy Spieth was there to capture their story. It's everything that I expected to be. Military aircraft is nothing new for these men, but it's been quite some time since they've seen one up close. That was one of the biggest bombers in the country, so naturally it's, it's, big, it's big for me. Today they flew out of the Indy South Greenwood Airport, riding with their children. I thought it would be a good opportunity for him to get out, and especially to kind of relive his youth a little bit on this. I'm so excited for him to be able to get on this plane. The vets didn't have much flight time in the service. Jack Ennis fought during World War II, but was stationed on a ship, only getting time on seaplanes. Bill King was stationed in Seoul during the Korean War. Looking forward to it. I've already seen one of these B-17s. After serving, he went on to become a civilian pilot. But getting in the air today is challenging. Since he's had the strokes where he can't get around, why the opportunity to go up in an airplane has diminished to zero. And uh, so I think that, you know, he's looking forward to this. The men spent close to 15 minutes with the bomber in the sky, but enough to spark memories, making it a rememberable trip. It was a, it was a treat. Very, very encouraging to, to see people interested in it. Randy Spieth, Fox 59 News. The B-17 turned 75 years old back at the start of the decade. Back then, there were an estimated dozen left that could still even fly.